I have a question for you. Do you watch porn? That's where I'm going today. This is John Spade in the Egg on November the uh, 6th, 2010. Welcome, greetings, hello. Uh, I apologize for my last egg. I, I'm not really sure what happened there. I posted it uh, about three or four times on YouTube. It looked like it was there and then uh, nobody could access it. And it, eventually I couldn't access it either, so I'm not really sure if there's some kind of filter and um, the people that, you know, powers that be at YouTube didn't like the content. I'm not really sure. But I took it as a sign and deleted it. And moving on, because everything for me is in the moment. So today, I'm talking about pornography and with an interesting twist, my argument is going to be that Religious organizations rely on pornography to increase their business because the business of religion is big business. And I'll tell you how I got there. Jesus, I sound just like Glenn Beck there for a second, so I apologize because we already know that he's a bit of a pompous ass. Anyways, um, Glenn, if you're watching, nothing personal. <laughs> Sorry. And so anyways... Here's where, I, where I'm going with this. Uh, I'll, I'll, use, I'll start off with the Catholic Church because, man, I, I have friends that are Catholic and, and they give me a hard time every once in a while and uh, don't always agree with my point of view, but they appreciate that I have a point of view and that uh, I am willing to share it so openly. So, the Catholic Church, the Vatican, the Pope, the Grand Puba of them all, the big kahuna in the world of religion, um, they're sitting on, you know... People try to estimate, we'll never know, because they've got the vaults underneath the Vatican that they figure, with, with the number of priceless artifacts that their vast wealth could be worth in the hundreds of billions of dollars. We'll never know. We'll never quite know why they sit on all that money and what the purpose is. If they're planning for something, I mean, in the coming, do they know something that the rest of us don't, that when the end comes that uh, the, these riches are going to be taking? You know, God maybe has commanded them secretly because, I mean, the Pope is sort of like the last guy between us and the Almighty upstairs. Um, that's just one example. But I really want to I want to focus more on North America and basically what what they're coining the mega church. It's a big part of American culture right now. Uh, they're blowing up, and basically they're saying every major city in North America, in the United States, I'm not sure about Canada yet, is going to have what they call these mega churches that generate anywhere from 30 to $50 million a year. They have shopping malls on board and campuses and just, you know, it's a, it's a whole basically city within a city. And, of course, the faces behind these mega churches are, you know, they're... Well, they're, they're like rock stars. And I'm trying to think of a name here. I, I've actually brought some information that I want to read uh, because, of course, there's so much. And the guy's name is Joel Osteen. And I think I've covered him in a past day, if I remember correctly. This guy and his wife, I mean, they're Ken and Barbie. They're Ken and Barbie of the pastoral world. And they get up and they have this massive congregation, somewhere around 24,000 people. And then all the spin-offs, And they make a lot, a lot of money. What got me thinking about this today, of course, is they estimate that about 60% of North Americans will view porn on the internet at some point this year. Now, they figure, I, and I'm not sure how they come to these numbers. People have done studies, of course. People could just be making it up. Uh, they figure one in three women will watch porn this month. Estimates put it at about 9 million people. 9 million women specifically, and the rest are made up of men. And they figured, you know, that that's a pretty significant number, that uh, it's like uh, three out of three men are going to look at porn. So if you start doing the math where they say 80% of North Americans are Christian and have Christian values, and 60% of North Americans watch pornography, that there's probably some crossover there somewhere. So I'm thinking... Pornography is big business in a lot of ways. I mean, in the States, um, somewhere around $40, $50 million was paid to the government in California because California is where most of the porn comes out. Uh, apparently, they make something like 11,000 pornography movies every month down there. 
and uh, it pays a lot of bills. It creates jobs. But more importantly, it creates a lot of guilt because people that are entrenched in religious ideologies and, uh, you know, put that sort of whole thing out there that, you know, God Almighty prayed, uh, Lord, hallelujah. Um, but when they go in, you know, behind closed doors, of course, the intentions are a little different. Now, granted, um, Jesus said, let the first person cast stones. We're not all perfect. I get that. But, and actually, I'm not going to be up on a soapbox today. I'm trying to sort of take a different angle to this. Um, I appreciate the simplicity of it. If you really think about how it all works, if I was building a big religious organization like a mega church, and I really wanted people to feel like they needed salvation and were wrought with immense guilt, wouldn't I want to put pornography as close as I could to their touch. And it's pretty easy to get pornography these days. Everybody knows it. If you've got a high speed internet connection, you're plugged in. You've got access to just about anything that you can think of. Agree or disagree. It's one of those things where, uh, you know, I grew up in a Catholic household, so I understand about uh, guilt, redemption, that whole thing. You know, um, I'm going to do some very bad things on Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to go and ask the Almighty for some forgiveness. So that's sort of, you know, my whole thinking about that is if you were building a mega church that potentially could be worth 50, 60 million dollars a year. And of course, you're Joel Osteen and you're probably making, I don't know, a few million dollars a year at least. I'd say the suits that this guy wears are worth a few thousand dollars and uh, that money's got to come from somewhere. Um, maybe you want to put sin as close as you possibly can so that uh, the congregations are running in droves on Sundays to, uh, to get some salvation, to be saved. Is there a correlation? Does one sort of feed the other? You know, it, <laughs> I know it's a bizarre argument that I'm putting forth, but you think about the access on the internet, what you can get your hands on, and it's a dark world out there, and the religious organizations that, you know, rely on, and, and literally, and I, I don't say that this is for everybody because I know people that follow and don't have issues of underlying guilt. And that's not why they're going to church every Sunday. They're going to church every Sunday because they believe. They have faith that, you know, just unmitigating, blind, you know what? There is a higher power. I really do believe. Um, and who's to say what the percentages are? My thinking, though, is that a lot of people that you see, especially in a, in a mega church, which is just an abomination. And, you know, if I was a, a God-fearing religious person... I would look at a place like this and go, this has nothing to do with the the grand message of what Jesus Christ is supposed to be about and uh, religion overall. You know, you've got these places that, you know, it's they're like stadiums and they've got big rock bands and lasers and video and with all that distraction, where does God fit in? But I think if you give somebody an outlet where they can go in there and they can pay their money and sort of say, you know what? I acknowledge that there's a higher power. Um, I really do want to be saved. But uh, as soon as I get out of here, I'm plugging in, man, because uh, there's some there's some new porn downloading on my computer, and uh, I'm going to go and have a few bottles of wine and then wind a little bit. Those are my thoughts for today. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'm sure I'm going to get some uh, interesting messages in my mailbox today. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. Just, I'm gonna, I'm leaving as soon as it comes up and I can hit the stop button.